Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back with some more Jesmonite today using these new incredible colours that were sent to me by Mrs. Colorberry. Now they weren't sent to me necessarily for a promotion or a video, but I knew I had to do a video using them because, wow, they are stunning. Now, here they are. Let's go. <laughs> They are called liquiments. Now these are for jasmine eye and resin, but I will talk more about that in the video. This color here is flirt. Then we have shape, autumn gold, charm, lips. This is my favorite. 100% my favorite. We have jet black. We also have seaweed algae. These two together. Oh my goodness me. Blurry, nizza and vivid now blurry and vivid are just beautiful tones muted tones cannot wait to use them okay we figured we figured we didn't i did <laughs> i'd have fun with jasmineite now i'm going to use black for outlining but i'm also going to just use five colors in this video because i want the brightest possible and i'm going to use squeezy bottles to help me pipe the jasmineite into the molds now these bottles come with these really handy screw lids, so you screw it up to allow the product to come out, but make sure you screw it back down afterwards. Now you can add 10% of this pigment to your jasmineite, but honestly, you do not, I didn't need that much. Like I tried actually weighing it on my scales, but my scales weren't even picking it up. So I figured I would just go with drops and see if I get the right shade, then it's all good. I've transferred that out into my squeezy bottle. Now the squeezy bottles I bought come with lots of different shape, lengths and widths, nibs. I ended up going with this long one just because I found it the easiest to control. But remembering you have to work fast with jasmineite. So I knew I couldn't just fill them in. I had to take that nib off and fill them in just using the squeezy bottle. I went through and then used the tip to spread these out, almost like icing a cookie um, or biscuit. We, I don't ice biscuits, I don't ice cookies, but it felt like that to me. It felt like that's what I was doing. So you just need to make sure you give each bottle a really good shake to mix that up. We don't want any settled in the bottom. This was four drops. Nowhere near 10% allowance, but four drops gave me this gorgeous, vivid colour. And uh, yeah, I was so, so happy. Believe it or not, this video is sped up. Because, <laughs> oh boy, my hands were shaking making these light bulbs. But you can see how the lips has already started to dry in the mould. The one thing to know about this, if you're doing this, is that the longer you leave jasmineite in some molds, the higher the chance that they will sweat. So I already knew that there was a risk I would get sweat lines around each of these light bulbs. But I also felt it would actually help me out. It would, it would actually work better that way. Some of you may have seen me do this in previous videos and the sweat marks kind of sometimes add to the value of the piece. So I really was not fussed at this point. I just carried on with all of my colors. The other thing to note, oh my gosh, guys, what I was doing in between each color, I was actually pressing stop on the camera and then washing out every single bottle. Any leftovers in the bottle I was putting into a separate mold, which I think I've shown you guys on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, just make sure that those squeezy bottles do not get bunged up. Now you can see with these colours, I am putting minimal two to three drops per colour was giving me such a vibrant shade. They are so pigmented. I Look at this purple. I just didn't need much. I didn't need much at all. And yeah, I was just so happy. So the one on the bottom left, you can see I abandoned that. Um, because truth be told, I'm very low on jasmineite and I wasn't sure I'd have enough for the four baubles. So I abandoned that one and I just continued with all of the others. But this was so much fun. A, the colours were wow. And I really just enjoyed having fun and piping on to the moulds using using these piping bottles but yeah i was really enjoying myself at this point 
And then I realised I'd only done four, and I have a thing about odd numbers. It has to be odd. Do you know what I mean? Everything has to be threes or fives. So here we go. It's time to add the black. Now with the black, I did have to add more than two or three drops. I believe I put six or seven drops of the black to get the shade that I wanted. But again, depending on what you want it for, it does make a beautiful gray as well. The more pigment you add, the brighter your colors become or the more deep in color they become. My hands were shaking so much at this point and honestly, I was so happy. Now, again, if you've not piped Jesmonite before, you will see you these little loops here, they're too small and the Jesmonite kind of blurred into one blob. So again, keep your loops wide if you are going to try this. Like this one here, you can see my loops are quite wide, but on the other ones, yeah, they're, 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 they were too small and they just blended into a blob but it's okay because we're here to have fun so the whole background color is going to be this flirt oh my gosh it's such a stunning color and I put loads of pigment in again nowhere near nowhere near my 10% allowance I just can't even imagine what color that would be but that's the beauty of it. You just add the drops until you're happy with the colour. Once I had mixed all of this in together, I decided, actually, I want a marble. So what I did after this was, as soon as I knew it was thoroughly mixed, I added a load more. And then just used my whisk to kind of blend it in, but not really blend it in thoroughly, because I want that marble effect in the background. These are so, like, I was umming and ahhing about whether to do a blue background or a black background even to make it more party-like. But, yeah, I just settled on the pink because it's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous shade. My surfaces are never flat, so you would have seen me there have a little mo moment where I was trying to get the Jesmonite to flow in the opposite direction instead of out of the mould. Um, flat surfaces are a must one day. One day when I grow up, I'm going to have flat surfaces, but until that day comes, I'm just going to have to make do with what I have in an old house. So I did not film the demold, but I forgot to press record. At least I thought I pressed record. At this point, I thought, you know, I'm going to make them like, not pop art, because they're not very, well, they are a little bit pop art, but I really love block colour graphics. So that really graphical look. I figured I would add some black pen to highlight and outline some areas that were really going to make them pop. And like I said, I used all of my leftovers in another mould. This allowed me to experiment on that piece and kind of see what looks good. I was trying to decide whether or I would outline the lights. Really was a tough decision. I didn't know whether to just leave them. You can see with some of the colours there, especially with the purple and the yellow, you can see the sweat, the outline that was the sweat. I kind of like it. It adds definitely adds to the impact of those lights. So I did, in the end, try it out on my trial piece, the piece that was getting all of the leftovers. It allowed me to try it. So I drew around the light bulbs and thought, absolutely yes they look fantastic with a black outline really makes them pop so much and for sure adds to that block graphic design yeah do you know what i mean yeah that's where my brain was going that's where my thought processes were going but look at these colors i mean they are so so opaque as well i was worried that you know, the colour wouldn't mix well, but the colour mixed absolutely beautifully and gave me the most beautiful shades. Cannot wait to try these again or use them again. I have them now, so that's incredible. The other thing to mention is that resin, they are usable for resin. However, they're very much they're very much like I guess an acrylic paint would be. They're water-based. So if you're using them in resin, there's no way you could use 10% because the resin would not cure. They are indeed water-based. So it would be very much like using like an acrylic colour, if you like. So just a small, small amount in your epoxy resin. For me, they are perfect for the Jesmonite. They just work so well. 
Right at the end, I knew I couldn't stop because I always find it hard to stop. I went in with some silver metallic pens. I found my silver metallic pens when I was recently tidying up my craft room. I lost these months ago and I just found them. So here we are. Excitement was real. And I added to the top, you know when you get those baubles that have the metal clip at the top? I just thought it would look so nice in silver and it would make it pop even more then I figured I would do all of the tops of the light bulbs in the same silver and look at this oh my goodness it definitely looks pop arty to me um not necessarily the design but the color the block graphic color I am just loving the design I did end up going over the string of lights with the black pen only because I'd blurred it it was it was messy in places because of the old shaky hand syndrome but again you know what we're here to have fun and I've always said to you guys I strive for handmade with love and not perfection and that is the excuse I use <laughs> in most of my videos when nothing comes out completely and utterly neat <laughs> it's okay to forgive ourselves if we just have a few squiggly lines here and there but this has inspired me so so much I cannot get over these colors they are so beautiful so pigmented they worked perfectly with the jesmonite the jesmonite cured within the expected time really really happy so huge thank you to mrs colorberry for sending these to me guys if you are interested in these again mrs colorberry was not necessarily expecting me to promote them or do a video on them she really just wanted me to try them out to see what i thought but I had to share this with you because they are absolutely stunning. They will be available from January 2022 on Mrs. Colorbury's website. So as of today, they're not quite available. But January 2022, they will be coming to Mrs. Colorbury's website if you are interested in purchasing them. And right now, I just cannot wait to use the other colors so yeah, thank you so much if you have watched this far in. I hope you love the design. I just find it so, so quirky and modern and graphic, if I can use that word one more time. Yeah, I love, I love, love them. So thank you all. And I will see you in my next video, which will be Saturday. And it will be my final video of 2021. Oh, see you then. Bye. <laughs>